Hi, this is Chris from Practical Navigator, and in this video series, we're going to solve all of the sample problems on the uh, 100 ton master near coastal navigation general exam. It's module number Q162, if you've got that on your license testing letter, um, and it's the sample exam provided by the National Maritime Center. More on that in a little bit. This video series is not going to be a lecture or a training series on uh, navigation. That would be too long. Uh, inst instead, we're just going to simply solve every problem and provide a little bit of explanation as we go. Some of the uh, places you can turn to if you do want to teach yourself navigation, uh, if you've only got one navigation textbook, this is the one I'd recommend, Bowditch, the American Practical Navigator. Whatever version you have is fine. Uh, inside of it is um, all kinds of good information mostly regarding uh, nautical navigation, whether it's terrestrial navigation, such as piloting, electronic navigation, like GPS and stuff, or celestial navigation. Inside the testing room, if you choose to test on your own, you're gonna have volume two of Bowditch, which contains all the navigational tables, but there is a good amount of information both in the beginning and the end um, to help you look things up if you may not uh, remember them when you're going through the, when you're going through the exam. Uh, the second textbook that I would recommend is Dutton's. This is um, more geared towards celestial navigation, but inside of it, they're broken down into kind of uh, terrestrial and then a, a large section on celestial navigation. So this is a good one, but probably not for the 100 ton level, unless you happen to have it. Another great book for this level license is Chapman's Piloting and Seamanship. And, uh, the piloting part is what we'll focus on for this exam. The seamanship is not super necessary, but inside of this table of contents, you can see there's stuff about compasses and aids to navigation, charts and pubs, uh, tides and currents. So really this section here is gonna be a great help to you as you study for your 100 ton license. If you wanna go crazy in buying textbooks, this one is Hobbes. It's a great book. It's a little bit dry. It's what uh, we used in college as our textbook. And you can see in here, there's also um, information about charts and piloting, aids to navigation, more in depth than Chapman's. Not quite what you would need um, for the 100 ton level. This may be when you go to advance to 500 ton or higher, but it's a good uh, textbook available. Additionally, if you chose to uh, get a specific weather textbook, this is my favorite book for weather, Weather for the Mariner by Admiral Koch. And inside of it, it's got everything that was in Bowditch, it's just in a little bit more detail. So air masses and fronts, winds and waves, all kinds of good stuff there. Finally, you'll have a few references available to you in the testing room. I already mentioned uh, Bowditch Volume 2 will be available to you. But you'll also have your standard suite of pubs, including the light list, uh, which inside of that, it's got a lot of good explanatory material in the beginning. So don't discount that. And then the tide tables and the tidal current tables for solving problems and chart number one for answering trivia questions about the chart. So if you find your way to the uh, National Maritime Center website and then under the examinations block, um, you can navigate your way to this. Eventually you'll find yourself um, looking at the different license levels and clicking on the master 100 tons. Um, there's a, a couple of different modules in there. For instance, this one here has your rules of the road, deck general and deck safety. But um, the other block has your navigation general chart plot and then this combination category. So we're looking at this one right here and underneath it, you can see all the topics that you're expected to know uh, for this license. So navigation, position determination, piloting, uh, fixes, dead reckoning, all this kind of stuff. There's not a ton of it, but that should help guide your studying when you're uh, studying on your own. In this box up here, it says the gray boxes represent major topic headings in accordance with 46 CFR subchapter B. Well, if you go to 46 CFR subchapter B, then uh, you can see that the um, Code of Federal Regulations outlines exactly what you're supposed to know for different levels. And, you know, there's this weird table in there. But the, um, the Coast Guard page does a good job of kind of summarizing it for you uh, when you're looking to self-study. So finally, if you click on this headed topic up here, you're going to get access to the sample exam and that will um, download. And if you print this out, we're just going to go through it and solve every problem on here. Um, depending on the amount of time each problem takes, the videos will be different lengths. But over the course of the series, we'll study every problem 
uh, with a brief explanation. Again, it's not a, a lecture on navigation or a video series training you on navigation, just simply solving the example problems to help you guide your studying.